Hey, what's up everyone? We are going to talk about the latest news around tech from the past week. I'd like to welcome you all to Tech Yolo. It's the end of week 24 and we've got some exciting news, mostly about the PlayStation 5. So Sony has finally revealed the PlayStation 5. The console will be released this holiday season and will come in two variants. One is with a disk driver and the second one is the so-called digital edition. The latter will have no Blu-ray drive. Considering that a lot of gamers are buying games online, this is actually a good idea of Sony. Although, I hope they will drop the price of digital versions of the games, because at the moment the games are mostly 55 euros on release date in the physical stores, while being sold for 70 euros on the PlayStation Store. This is absurd considering the fact that the digital edition don't have any cost like physical production, packaging, distribution and intermediate stores. But still, they sell these games for approximate of 10 euros more. So I hope Sony considers the price cuts on digital games. Even though retailers may be upset about this, but this is part of the digital revolution and I think retailers need to keep up with this. What do you guys think about this? Would you get the digital edition of the PlayStation 5? Or are you more like a physical copy type of guy? Sony has also announced a couple of accessories for the PlayStation 5. Starting with the DualSense charging station. The charging station does exactly what it says, charging dual DualSense controllers. But one thing I've noticed is that the charging station doesn't appear to use a regular USB-C port located at the top of the controller to charge but instead connects through another way on the bottom of the controller. Then there's the camera. Notice the dual lens on the camera? There are both 1080p lenses. This stereo setup is the same as a PS4 camera, which is used to track motion controllers for normal games but especially useful for VR games. I think it's a pity that Sony still sticks to this technique for tracking controls in VR. But who knows, maybe they've got this optimized by now. At the current gen of the VR hardware, Sony's controls were the worst. I hope Sony comes with a better motion controllers this time. At the hardware technology reveal event of the PlayStation 5, they've mentioned and talked a lot about 3D audio. Now, Sony has revealed their own wireless headset, the Pulse 3D. I'm glad they backed their technology up with hardware. I'm really curious about this 3D audio, something that Sony has been pushing as a major feature of the PlayStation 5. They have also announced the media remote. The media remote, while resembling an ordinary remote, also features a built-in microphone for voice commands. There are also four unmarked buttons on the bottom of the remote, although it's not clear what those are used for. Another thing worth mentioning is the size of the PlayStation 5. A fan has compared this using the size of the PlayStation 5's disk driver. In this image we can clearly see that the PlayStation 5 is the biggest console when standing vertically. I don't mind this, but I hope the PlayStation 5 comes with the stand out of the box. But one thing we still don't know is the price of the PlayStation 5. The same is for the Xbox Series X. I think Sony and Microsoft are waiting for each other to announce the prices. So what do you guys think about the PlayStation 5? What price is worth paying for a new console and which next gen console are you going to buy? The Xbox Series X or the PlayStation 5? Thanks for watching everyone and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.